All right, so CSGO has been stuttering a hell of a lot lately. There's been random lag spikes happening. It's been randomly kicking people from the game, but most importantly, it's been just randomly stuttering. Like you'll experience not necessarily lag, but just stutters in game that'll last a couple of frames and really just throw you off your game. It's the most annoying thing. It's been happening a lot recently to me, and I'm guessing it's because of all the new CSGO players on the game right now. But anyway, I wanna show you guys how you can possibly fix this. Now, there is no permanent fix to it, and I can tell you guys this right now, this will not guarantee the stuttering to stop, but I can give you guys some tips on how to stop it for the most part. These have worked for me, and they still work now, so I'm hoping they will work for you guys too. So, let's get right into it. And yeah, also, if you like my uh, CSGO background right now, there will be a video coming out in the next couple of days showing you guys how to do this for yourselves too. So make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications on for that. So the first thing you guys are gonna wanna try to do is go to your desktop, come down and click on the search button next to the Windows Start button and type in device manager. Now this should already pop up, so just go ahead and click on it once you type in device. Now basically what we're looking for here is any driver updates. If you guys don't know, Drivers not being up to date can cause lag, not just in CSGO, but all throughout your computer. What you wanna do is you wanna open up all devices that you're currently using for the game and make sure that they don't need any driver updates. So that would mainly mean audio, display adapters, keyboard and mice, your monitors, and your USB stuff, your USB port drivers and whatnot. Now, if any of these have any major updates that they need that Windows has not done automatically, there will be an exclamation mark, either yellow or red, I believe, that pops up next to it. Now, if there are none popping up, that's already a good sign, but you can also go through and check all of your devices. If I click on my digital audio driver here, you can see that if you come up here to the top, it says update device driver. If you click on this, you can either browse your computer for driver software, which you don't need to do unless you know you already have driver software you want to update it with on your computer. You're going to click search automatically for updated driver software. What this is going to do is it's going to quickly search the web and search different Windows sources for any possible driver updates. Now, like I said, Windows should be doing most of its updates automatically, but as you can see here, the best drivers are already installed and they are already up to date. Now, also what this will show you is if you have any drivers that are not working, any drivers that are broken in any sort of way, Windows will detect it and show you it here. Again, I believe in that yellow or red exclamation mark. Again, as you can see, I'm all good, so we can go ahead and close out of this. If you're all good too, go ahead and close out of it. The most important driver update, which would be for your graphics card, you're gonna wanna open up the software for whatever graphics card you're using. I have a custom built PC using an Nvidia GeForce RTX 2070 Super, which means I can go ahead and come down here to the search bar and type in GeForce Experience. Now this right here is a dedicated app to my video card specifically. If you guys have an NVIDIA video card too, this will be the program you want to use. Now sometimes this does not come pre-installed when you install your graphics card. You do have to go and download this from the NVIDIA website. Just Google GeForce Experience and the download link should come up. If you guys have an AMD card, you're going to want to look for your software provided by AMD for your specific video card. If you're just running Intel graphics or if you don't even have a graphics card, again, go back to Device Manager like I was just showing you guys and look for your updates for your graphics part of the Intel Core. I don't have an AMD card nor am I running off of Intel graphics so I'm not going to be showing how to do that today. Right now I'm just going to focus on Nvidia cards but like I said for AMD this should be pretty similar. So if you do have a GeForce card or if you're on an AMD software something similar to GeForce Experience what you're going to do is look for a section that says drivers. If you come up here on GeForce Experience it says drivers go ahead and click that. Now you guys can see I actually have an updated driver I need to download and you can simply just click this download it and it does everything for you now just because I'm recording I'm not gonna go ahead and do this right now but if any of you guys have the update that says GeForce game ready driver make sure you download this, this is, these are very important these will help your game a lot now if your graphics card driver is all up to date you're gonna want to go ahead and close out of GeForce experience in fact you're gonna want to go ahead and close out of all other applications besides the game you are playing now if you guys come down here you'll see that I have multiple tabs open and all sorts of areas and because I'm recording I do need all those open but if you're playing CSGO make sure you close everything if you guys have everything closed but you know you might have something running in the background what you guys can do is press Control alt delete all at the same time on your keyboard not the backspace button you're gonna to want to press delete you're gonna get the option to click task manager click task manager and open that up once you open up task manager this is the window you're gonna get and you can see I'm seeing all of my main apps that are open along with 
every single background process here that is running in the background. Here, it'll show how much CPU, RAM, storage, network, everything, how much it's using and how much it's taking up. Now, this is super important, especially for people who are trying to game on an older laptop or maybe an older PC, or maybe it's just like a school computer that normally isn't meant for gaming. Make sure that all other programs besides your game are closed out. Google Chrome, as you can see here, is a big culprit of lag because it takes up so much memory. Memory also does mean the same as RAM, and RAM is used by almost every game, and if it's taken up or if it's being taken up by other programs, it will cause lag. Make sure you close out of all Google Chrome tabs. Now, like I said, some programs are in the background, so you also want to come down here to your background processes and just scroll through this and make sure there's nothing taking it up. Now, as you can see, I do have Google Chrome open because I am recording and I need some of this stuff open, but as you can see, Google Chrome is also running in the background, and even after you close out of the app source of it, it's not going to close these background tests. Make sure you guys close all of these too. This should help remove a ton of lag if you guys are running Google Chrome or if you use it even if it's not open. Anyway guys, those were just three simple steps that should help solve a lot of possible lag you might be experiencing. Like I said, make sure you close out of all your background processes, make sure you go through those steps multiple times, everything's closed, all your drivers are updated, and that should remove a majority of your lag. If you're still lagging after this, Comment down in the comments below, and I'm going to try to help some of you guys out and suggest some more possibilities, but these are the three main things you guys can do to help remove lag. Anyway, I hope I was able to help some of you guys out. If I did, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, like I said, if you guys want to know how to make your CSGO background pretty sick like this, there will be a video coming out in a few days, if it's not already out right now, about how to switch your CSGO background. Make sure you guys go check that video out. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Dancing, moving, grooving like your pants off. Oh, what you waiting for? What you think we came here for? I wanna see you dancing, moving, grooving like your pants off. Oh, hold up, my flow nuts. Y'all kids just lanes and bow guts. Put your baby ass here to the grow up. Quit complaining and get your dough up.